And, um, and then with my father, and I grew up, and my, my dad, when I was a um, kid, my father joined the Nation of Islam, uh, which, you know, was fine for him, but it basically screwed me out all the holidays. You know, <laughs> suddenly there's no Christmas. I got to fast for a month. I didn't understand that. <laughs> it was ridiculous. And my grandmother, who I think kind of drove it to it, drove him to it. My grandmother has such a, you know, my grandmother is a, um, a very dark black woman who doesn't like being a very dark black woman, and um, and did not like other dark black women. This is actually where my grandmother and my aunt meet, because they both have a real uh, anger and hatred towards very dark people. Um, I've been so confused. I was actually married uh, once before to a very dark woman. And my grandmother, in that sort of old person way, in her face was very nice. Oh, baby, I'm so glad you married my friend, child. God bless you. I love this child so much. Honey, she is so black. <laughs> I love you, baby. Sit down. Get something to eat. You're so skinny. Why are you marrying such a black girl? <laughs> I go, Grandma, but we're black. She said, we are not that black. I thought when your father married your mama, we would start going the other way, the good way. That's what she said. That's what my grandmother said to me. Um, my, and which is why I think my father joined the nation. My, and my grandmother, even then, she didn't even respect it. My grandmother, the baby can't have no Christmas? What you mean this child can't have no Christmas? I don't care what your father joined. I'm going to take you to see Santa Claus. Bro. She'd take me to the mall to see Santa Claus, you know, sitting on Santa's lap. So what do you want for Christmas, little boy? My father's in the corner. Tell him you want your freedom. <laughs> you got some freedom in that bag, fat man? My father's job, apparently, in the nation of Islam was to find all the plots against black people, no matter how cleverly hidden, because apparently white people knew how to hide the plots, you know, all little things that would break you down mentally. And my father, we could go to the grocery store and he'd point them out and look at me like I was crazy. How do you not see this? <laughs> What's wrong with you, boy? See, I'm trying to teach you, you gotta ask yourself questions. Look at this, it's all in the package. And ask yourself, why must I be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> you see? The black cereal makes you crazy. The Frosted Flakes, they're white, they're great. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs make you nutty. See this rice? It's just regular rice. It's good for you. It's brown rice. And right here is rice. Right here is brown rice. They call it wild rice. Mm -hmm. What's so wild about it? Is Uncle Ben running around the shells acting a fool? You're not thinking, son. Why are these black olives in a can? Green olives not in a can. You see? Green olives in a jar. See, the white man's trying to tell you, you cuckoo, you're too wild, and you need to be locked up. Every time you go to the grocery store. You know? That's what I grew up with, and I tried to get away from it. I came out here, I got married, I don't, I don't, I don't, and... <laughs> <laughs> and, and I have to say, in my first wife, there's always stories. Whenever I tell a story about us, we used to have this dog. And uh, like I said, I'm from Baltimore. I'm from the projects of, of Baltimore, uh, you know, which, by the way, is where the free blacks managed to get to. <laughs> yeah. They managed to make it to the projects. <laughs> Mount Moore Court. And... Um, and I moved here, and uh, I did. Like I said, I got married, and I had a, uh, my, my wife, I should say, had a dog. This was the end of my marriage. Because the dog, 
we had, this, we had a dog that was attacking me. And I think that's the number one thing. When you have a dog, no matter what you like or not like about dogs, it shouldn't attack you. It's a, rule number one, dog don't attack me. And the dog was an Akita. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Akita. It's, it's a Japanese dog. It's, it's bred for fighting bears. Bears. And I don't care if I come in the house with a pork pie hat and a picnic basket, I would not look like anybody's bear. But the dog used to uh, attack me, and, and I was so set, I was so determined to make uh, that, that marriage work that, um, you know, whatever my wife told me, I would, I would stick to it. <laughs> I, would, uh, I would stay in it. And, and so I said, well, you know, we should get rid of the dog. And she said, no, you know, you just want to get rid of things. You don't want to go through this process of, of, of learning how to appreciate something. And... Um, and so I said, so what are we going to do? And so we went to the dog psychologist. It's a God's honest truth. Robert Polsky, he's right in Culver City. Anybody wants, anybody needs a dog psychologist. And then this guy said, uh, for $1,400, he said, well, you know what you have to do? You have to reestablish dominance in your house. Uh, and what I was supposed to do was um, uh, three times a day, for half an hour a day at indeterminate times, because, you know, dogs get used to a schedule and you don't want them to do that. I had to wrestle the dog. <laughs> I tell you no lie. I had to wrestle the dog. I had to wrestle him and hold him on his back and growl, because that's how dogs establish dominance, you know, and I had to growl in his face <laughs> for a solid half hour. And, um, and I said, you know, I'm not doing that. That's crazy. <laughs> And so my wife goes, no, you have to, do you want to, this is, you said you wanted to, you go through anything, you know, for better or worse. And I said, yeah. And she threw the big bomb. I said, what if we had a child? Would you just quit? Would you just give up? Would you not do what you needed to do? And I said, no, but if I had a child, would you want me to wrestle him to the ground? <laughs> Who's daddy in this fucking house? <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, folks. Enjoy the rest of the show.